So let's talk about the stoichiometry of electrolysis. The electrons act as a reactant, and they do have a stoichiometric relationship with the other reactants and products. So here we have an electrolytic cell for copper plating. Um, and looking at the half reactions, we see that there are two moles of electrons that are involved in the reaction of one mole of copper. We don't measure amount of electrons using mass like we do with chemicals. Um, we measure them with charge. So the number of moles of electrons is determined from the total charge that has flown, flowed, has flown, <laughs> has flowed through the cell. That's depending on the, the magnitude of the current and how long it's occurred. So we've got the Faraday constant, uh, 96,485 coulombs of charge per mole of electrons and an amp is one coulomb per second. Uh, current um, is coulombs per second. So the current times the time will give us the amount of charge. So how many amps times the time will tell us how much, um, how many electrons have, have gone through. So you can plate silver out of solution um, according to this half reaction. How much time in minutes would it take to plate 12 grams of silver using a current of three amps? So three amps, that's equal to three coulombs per second. We know that the amount, or the, um, we could get moles of electrons by taking the three coulombs per second and multiplying by the time. And we're also going to need to use the Faraday constant, 96,485 coulombs per mole of electrons. Coulombs cancel out. This would be time in seconds. So what we really need to know is how many moles of electrons do we need? We've got a mass of silver. 12 grams of silver is how many moles of silver? Well, we need to use the molar mass of silver, it's 107.9, 107 107.9 grams of silver per mole. And then we're going to look at the stoichiometry of this half reaction. How many moles of electrons do we need for every mole of silver? One one mole of electrons for one mole of silver. You always need to consider that because it's not always one to one. Then we could take, um, we could use the Faraday constant, 96,485 coulombs per mole of electrons. Cancel those out. And then to get the time, we're going to use the, the current of 3 amps, 3.0 coulombs per second. And then we're supposed to do this in minutes, so seconds to minutes. How many seconds in a minute? 60. The units. It's all about the units. 12 divided by 107.9 times 1 times 96485 divided by 3 times, no, divided by 60. So I'm getting 
minutes. Any questions?